To you, perhaps I am just a glass of water, a hot shower, a good drink for your crops. To you, I am invisible, as invisible as the energy that has illuminated your lamp. You might not think of me at all, although I am the source of much of what keeps you alive. If you do think of me in the form that you receive me, through a faucet or a sprinkler, and marvel at how I sustain so much of your life, do you think of where I come from? Did you know that I am a mighty river? That I once careened gracefully through a majestic valley? A valley that in its day rivaled the glory of its sister, Yosemite Valley. A valley that was not only home to me, the mighty river, but to generations of Miwok Indians, thousands of species of birds, animals, and plants. A valley about which John Muir said, The sublime rocks of its walls seem to glow with life, whether leaning back in repose or standing erect in thoughtful attitudes, giving welcome to storms and calms alike, their brows in the sky, their feet set in the groves and gay flowery meadows, while birds and bees and butterflies help the river and waterfalls to stir all the air into music. These paintings and photos you have seen are all I have left to show you of that valley, Hetch Hetchy Valley, for you are looking at me now and that isn't at all what you see. Now I sit incarcerated in a holding tank, the captured river and the reservoir, having drowned out the precious valley which lies beneath me. I am Tuolumne and I want you to know my story and the story of my home. I do not begrudge you my water, I ask you rather to consider the way in which it has been taken. I will show you how this wall of destruction came to be. I will show you how the damming of Hetch Hetchy made history and changed America's policies on wilderness. And mostly, I am going to show you how we can both survive, you with your water and power, and me with my precious home restored to its natural, magical state. Listen, and we will go back to the source. <laughs> 